So this script we're looking at, it selects an MP4 and converts it to an MP3. And before I even run it, if you install the script kit extension, um, this will add to your command palette. If you search for run, it'll give you a run in kit app, which will launch the script you're currently looking at in script kit. So the shortcut for this is command alt semicolon uh, versus command semicolon for launching script kit. So I'm just going to run command alt semicolon. And you'll see a couple things here. Um, first, let's look at this log window, which I'm going to move over here. Uh, this is that pro sponsor feature that uh, all the egghead people have access to. Um, so this log window will pop open and start uh, giving you all the log statements in that file and it'll tail it and it'll scroll down and give you all the progress and everything. Um, from here, I can select a file, go to downloads. Um, let's just go by size. I think this one is a friend singing the national anthem at a jazz game. And I'm going to convert that from MP4 to MP3. And you can see the progress being logged out. All right. That was loud in my headphones. I don't know if you heard that. Um, but that showed all of the progress in here and goes successfully downloaded once it's done. Um, so you can see that uh, the things we used were show log window. Again, you could, if you don't have a pro account, you can build a widget and send messages to update the state in the widget and do that however you want. Um, the log window gives you like a full blown editor to come in here and copy and paste and do whatever you want with the full output. Um, and to get the most out of that, you add just log messages. And uh, you can also use exec log with the command that you're going to run. So that's the command. And exec log will uh, take all of the messages from the command that you're running and just uh, spit them out to the log file. And since we're tailing the log file, um, those will all show up in, in here. Now, um, the other thing we talked about in our, uh, in our meeting is just showing something, a widget or something that shows success or failure. So uh, that one we just looked at was a success scenario. If I just change this to uh, who, and then I do command alt semicolon again, uh, this time it'll fail and we'll get a different, uh, different gift this time. So the log window will open each time because of this. And you saw both of those kind of running in parallel um, because you kind of want to know that the, the results and copy and paste them and do whatever until you're done with it. And then you can just uh, command W to get rid of it or command Y to clear it out. You can imagine this hanging around for much longer for a much longer running task and seeing the output and uh, whatever sort of thing you want to add. Uh, you dismiss these with escape, just focus it, hit escape. And um, that's pretty much the main pattern is just using the, the log window to log output and then the exec log on a command. That's usually when you're running a very long command, uh, you are uh, using exec or something similar. Now, uh, the temptation is because ScriptKit shows you the prompt and uh, does all this prompt stuff, that you'd like use progress and show results inside of a prompt. Um, but remember the keyword is prompt and that you're prompting the user for input. So the output is usually something like a widget or the log window or something that shows progress. So it allows you to separate the prompting the user for input and then uh, displaying output of whatever happened, whether positive or negative. Um, and this little, uh, handler or this promise wrapper right here shows you how to, um, if it's successful or not, just on Xcode zero, uh, whether to uh, this try and catch, whether to be successful or to fail. So uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. That'd be great.